Welcome to Excel Dictionary's YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to insert a new row after every row in a data table without having to manually insert any rows at all. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking we have to write complex VBA code to do this, but we actually don't need to write any VBA code at all. We're actually going to insert a new row after each row by rearranging the data in the table. Let's take a look at an example. As you can see on my screen, I have a data table with about 10 rows of data, and I want to insert a new blank row after each row in the table. So I could sit here and manually insert a new row after each row by right clicking and selecting insert, but this would be very time consuming and also would not be very fun to do. So let's take a look at another way that we can do this. So first, I'm going to go to the column to the right of the data table and create a new column called sort. Next, I'm simply going to number the rows in the data table. I'm going to do this by creating a number series. So I'm going to enter 1, then 2, and then select the 1 and 2 and just drag this down the column. And now each row in the data table has a number corresponding to it. Next would be to copy this new number series we created. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control C and I'm going to paste the number series right below the data table in the new column. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control V. And now the last step is simply going to be sorting the new column in ascending order. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by going to the data tab and then hitting this sort from smallest to largest icon right here. And now, as you can see, we actually rearranged the data in the data table to insert a new row after each data entry for us. Then finally, last step would be to select the column that we just created and then simply delete it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control minus to delete the column. And now we are left with our original data table with a new row after each row. Let's take a look at one more example that's a little bit more complicated. So in this example, I have a very large data table with about 500 rows of data, and I want to insert a new blank row after each row in the data table. Now it would take hours to sit here and manually insert a new row 500 times. So I'm going to go ahead and use the method that we just learned. So the first step would be to create a new column to the right of the data table. And I'm going to go ahead and name it sort. And now we have to create a number series to number each row in the data table. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a one and then enter a two. And then I'm going to select the one and the two here. And I'm going to use the fill handle to fill the number series down the column. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and double click the lower right hand corner of the cell and the, when the black plus sign pops up. And now we have successfully numbered each row in the data table. The next step would be to copy the number series and paste it in the cell below the new sort column. So I'm going to hit control C to copy the number series. And then I'm going to jump down to the bottom of the data table by hitting control down arrow and I'm going to paste the number series in the cell below column J. So I'm going to go ahead and select cell J497 and hit control V. Now we have successfully pasted the number series below the data table. So the last step is going to be to sort the sort column in ascending order. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back up to the top of the data table by hitting the control up arrow. And then now I'm going to go ahead and sort the sort column in ascending order. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit Alt A S A. And now by sorting the new column we created, we actually inserted a new row after each row in the data table without having to manually insert any rows at all. So the final step would be to go ahead and delete the sort column out. So I'm going to go ahead and select column J hit control minus, and now we have rearranged the data in our data table to insert a new row after each row in the table.